was on Bermuda and I nared my legs and all the places. And he was like, do I know you? And I'm like, do you? I'm like, do you? You know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. It's so funny. But you know that song, Bermuda, mama, come on, pretty mama. That is literally all I've heard about Bermuda on IG. Like, oh yeah, all the YouTubers be up in Mexico. They always be going to the same place in Miami. And, and I don't have time to play games. What up, it's your girl Minna. Good morning. It is 3.19 in the morning. I'm headed to the airport today out of town to go to Bermuda and I wanted to do my makeup and my hair on camera because I know that when you see the hairstyle, you're gonna wanna know how I did it. So here we are. All right, my hair is still just up. I don't know what it's looking like under here because I didn't do anything sp special to it last night because I'm doing a top knot with bangs. I'm using my own hair on the bangs and then I'm gonna add hair to the top knot, okay? So that's what's going on. Obviously, you saw now you know the look okay you know the vibes okay so if you are interested in seeing this look i want you to keep on watching now of course all the usual make sure you're subscribed comment and let me know if you are feeling this hairstyle if you plan on doing it if you've done it before all the things this is l cosmetics lock on lip primer i'm always sorry when i use it because it's so great and you can't find it sorry okay you know usually when i'm standing here i'm holding a mirror in my hand well i found this mirror that sucks it's a suction mirror that actually goes in the shower but i put it right here on the mirror in front of me so that it's tilted towards me and now I can see myself it is so good I just shaved my face look we are so close up don't you enjoy that we are always so close up here in the bathroom talking low because making sure my mic is not not unplugged talking low because Amy is asleep right here and after all it is three in the morning for god's sake I was telling my hair stylist yesterday about how I like to get dressed up when I go to the airport I mean you know we have had lots of discussions like this in videos if you're new here this is a very chatty random topic type of video when I'm getting ready in the bathroom and I love to do it we're gonna just hop on different topics okay so I was just telling her about how I used to go to the airport and a lot of places like you know the store or whatever just looking any kind of way you feel what I'm saying and especially during covid being home i was like excuse me no like we are taking this up a notch i got rid of all of my grumpy essentials you know what i'm saying all of the comfy stuff that you just have because oh i could just wear this to go knock about i could just wear this foundation today i was gonna try a new foundation today i was gonna do the yummy foundation and wear test i don't think this is my shade and i don't have time to play games so i'm just like you know what uh, no like i want to look good at all times for myself so uh, I like to get, get dressed when I go to the airport. I like to get dressed for most places, most things that I do, or even just because, just to be at home. It just makes me feel better. Once you identify what makes you feel good, why not keep on doing it as long as it's not detrimental to yourself or to somebody else? It don't take much for me to get dressed. Obviously this is my job. So of course it makes it easier because then I get content. With that said, I mean, I've identified the plug. So like, hello. So yeah, it's three in the morning. I got up at two and I nared my legs and all the places. Oh, I shaved my face because it was I was due to do that. I normally shave the first of the month, but then I don't be always doing it. So did I tell you, yeah, we're going to Bermuda for my sister's 31st birthday. Can you imagine? Oh my God, crazy. Last year we were in Puerto Rico. If you were here, you saw that vlog and then we're going to Bermuda. I don't know where I was, but yeah, I'm just dressed up for myself and it makes me feel so good. Not to mention, like, people be finding me out in the wild and, you know, I just be like, wait, what? You know me? Like, how do you know me? You know, it's, it's, I know that I make these videos. I know that they go all over the world, right? But it, it's always so shocking when someone's like, do I know you? And I'm like, do you? I'm like, do you? You know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. It's so funny. Ooh, this foundation still looks so good. Love this color on me. This is the color Espresso 4N74. Okay, yeah, so I got my hair flat ironed yesterday. I was originally gonna do my usual go-to. If you've been here for a while, you know my usual go-to is the half up, half down. It is just so good. This is Kat Von D TN177. I usually do UD5, the sensational half up, half down. So it comes with the ponytail and the half wig, which makes it easier. I like the one I did with the yakky hair on IG, don't get me wrong, but because I'm so used to, for the past three years now, doing the half up, half down where it comes with the ponytail, I'm just like, I'd rather already have the ponytail than to make my own ponytail. It was just too stressful for me because I'm like, am I taking enough hair? Did I not take enough hair? Like, I feel 
feel like in that video, I didn't take enough hair, but people loved it. And I was just like, okay, I had that in for one day and then I changed my hair. I mean, you know me, I just change my hair often. It's part of what I love to do. It's therapeutic and it's fun. I hate the same boring hairstyle for too long. I get bored. I know you all must be like, well, that's a lot, but because of what I do, I get bored. But come in and let me know if you've ever been to Bermuda. I've never, and it's never been a place that I've thought about. It's up north, whereas Bahamas is down south. When I think of the US, right? Bermuda, it's going to be opposite based on how you're looking at me. So Bermuda up here and then Bahamas down here. But you know that song, Bermuda, mama, come on, pretty mama. That is literally all I've heard about Bermuda. <laughs> It's never been a place that I've heard of or people have talked about that they've gone. You know, we have the usual places that we all go. And some people hate. I talked about that on IG. Like, oh yeah, all the YouTubers be up in Mexico. They always be going to the same place in Miami. And it's like, yo, fall back. I mean, I didn't start traveling until, okay, I went to Ghana with my family. But as far as I have my own money, I want to travel. It was when my friend moved to North Carolina and we went and that was exciting. North Carolina from Rhode Island, it was like, oh, what? We're on a plane, you know? And I think it was I Air. Remember that airline? I Air. And then first year of grad school, we have, you know, some refund money, honey. Comment below if you had them refunds and if you still paying for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We had that refund money, baby. So we were up in, we went to Miami, first year of grad school. And then second year, and when we actually graduated, we went to Montego Bay and it was so fun and I was like what I can travel like you know if I have some money saved I can travel so that was that and I moved to Houston after grad school and then being here did I travel girl I didn't have that much money and so whatever and here we are right so to me I don't look down on Mexico I don't look down on you know a trip to LA I don't look down on that because listen I didn't grow up going on summer vacation maybe some of y'all did Mm -mm. We didn't have that money, okay? When I grew up, we had food stamps, the paper, like the actual paper you took to the store. And you were so embarrassed to pull it out to pay for your, your chips or whatever you were paying for because you didn't want anybody to recognize you had food stamps. Now you have EBT, you whip it out, you pay for whatever you're paying for, and it may or may not be that obvious that it's an EBT card. This is Cap on D Deep 98, and this is the 470 brush. Ooh, and by the time you see this, for sale may or may not <laughs> already be in action, but I have my list for Sephora sale. I know I also did a video that obviously you're gonna see at some point with my recommendations for the Sephora sale. Always such a good time to stock up on stuff because for me, I get 20% off. It's like, excuse me, <laughs> uh, definitely need to get some fragrances that I've been eyeing, even though I have a lot, but that's the same with makeup. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy more. <laughs> Hi. Now, now, let's just talk about something, okay? I was just thinking about this and I was like, I need to share this because, you know, like we share here, okay? And I feel very strongly that I have fallen off in terms of my relationship or dedication to Christ, okay? I used to really be, you know, like, how do I say it? I don't even know because, you know, I was new in Christ, came to the Lord a few years ago. What is it now? Four years ago? I don't even remember. I used to go to church every Sunday when I missed, I felt off. And I, and believe me, in my journey with Christianity, I've learned that it is not all about the work. So I, I can have a relationship with Christ at home and, and all of that. But I enjoy being with community, being at church. And because of COVID, being at home, I didn't go for a year. We didn't go for a year. And then when I went to go serve it just didn't feel right it just didn't feel the same I didn't feel like I was part of a community anymore it, everything was different people had gone and I don't I know I know that I'm not supposed to go there for the people but I can't lie that what really helped me feel connected and helped me grow personally and spiritually was the community that I had. Who wants to go to church and feel like no one knows who they are, no one knows what their struggles are, and that they're invisible? I can stay at home and be invisible. That's the whole point. So it just didn't feel right, and I stopped going. So doing church at home has been a struggle because <laughs> There's no community. The community is what really helped me, held me, and vice versa, right? I'm not saying I was there and I was just like some kind of a patient or something like that, no. But uh, not having that has definitely been a challenge for me personally. And I've just had to redefine what my relationship with Christ looks like while being at home and not being in community at church. 
So that has been interesting for me. And like I said, I have, I know that I have fallen off. I used to just be a lot more intentional. Now let me set my contour. This is the LYS Beauty No Limits Bronzer and the Color Worthy Deep. And this is the LYS brush, isn't it? Let me look. Yeah, this is their brush. Now, if you watch my Dubai vlog, then you know that the makeup lasts throughout the mask. It lasts throughout everything. You ain't got no issue worrying about. Is the makeup going to last? Oh no, baby, it is. And what do I do to make it last? Nothing special. You're, you're gonna see my routine today. And honestly, it's nothing, you know, groundbreaking. Yeah, so that's been the thing that I, I have recognized that I'm trying to work on. I shouldn't have made that line. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Putting on makeup onto naked skin, a skin that has no hair, feels so strange. We gonna take care of that line, hang on. So I like to watch Transformation Church online, of course. It's not the same as being in person at church. So I've definitely been praying about that to see where we should go when it comes to that. Because I like being connected. I like being plugged in. I don't wanna think that me being plugged in was just for a season, I don't know, but I hope not. Oh my God, so another thing, this is Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color flaunt. Another thing too is I was packing my suitcase and I always have an issue with my checked but luggage being almost overweight, kinda overweight, just too much. I pack a lot of things, okay? Not only that, I always then have a carry-on bag and being in Dubai showed me how annoying having a carry-on bag is. Like when we went to Paris, I was like, if I didn't have this carry-on bag, I'd be, I'd be able to move a lot easier. This is annoying to me. And <laughs> just getting on and off the airplanes, it's like, oh my God, this bag is just annoying <laughs> trying to get through all the aisles. So, you know what? Uh, I was like, I need to figure out a way to not have this carry-on bag because this is getting on my nerves. And with today with Bermuda, well, yesterday I was, I weighed my stuff and, and I weighed it and I was looking at it and I literally could not take anything out. Everything I had in there I needed. And this wasn't even my technology. I know my makeup case from Ally Glines is really heavy, but it has makeup and skincare. And it has night, it has PM skincare and morning skincare. And there honestly was nothing that I could take out that would make it okay. And I, I was already at 55 pounds. And I'm like, you know what? I need to check another bag. I mean, it just is a no brainer. I don't need to worry about what it's going to look like. I'm going on a four day vacation. I got two checked luggages. I'm the one paying for it. Why does it matter? I need to be comfortable. So I definitely have two checked luggages. <laughs> one of them really is barely being used, but I have it nonetheless. I need to, I just put all my, you know, whatever. Okay, I have these Huda Beauty cheek tints. And I saw OMI use these yesterday. So let me try one of these out and see how it looks. All right, girl, I had to just zoom, zoom, zoom to get to this part because, whoa, time is ticking. So yeah, this is my soap press. Look at it. It's my T3 Micro flat iron getting ready. All right, my hair is in the middle part. Yep, here we go. And yesterday I was like, you know what? Let me take it from up here so that my bang is nice and long. So I'm taking it from the top there. Same with this. And then we're gonna pick up all this hair and it really is so cute it's just not gonna last in the humidity i really could do this soft where i don't make it make the base so hard and all this stuff but i'm just so tempted to get it laid down really well with my edge control and stuff so that it's not frizzy looking like you see this is frizzy this is my hair obviously like you saw that already put in a ponytail I really could leave my hair, yo. Look at this. Should I just take the weave with me, but just go like this for right now? Is that like childish? <laughs> do I look like a child? Like, I'm just so tempted to just do that. Like, I think this ponytail is so cute. That right there is giving, you know? But yeah, she already curled all of this for me. I'm just trying to bring it to the front. I might not even need my flat iron. And you can't even comment and let me know because by the time you see this video, I already left. Like, this is not bad. Maybe I don't need to add hair because with the top knot, what I'm doing is doing this, but with hair. I'm gonna take the hair with me and take my edge control with me and I'm gonna lower down this ponytail 
and I'm gonna go just like this. I actually think this looks really cute. I think it looks really cute. Okay, I have a small flat, let me go higher, let me go higher. I have a small flat iron that I put in my suitcase. So what I will do is flat iron my hair if needed, and I'm gonna take the hair, I'm putting the hair in my suitcase, and if I just am over this, like when I get dressed for the nighttime, if I'm over this, nah, let me stop playing. I feel like, I feel like the hair makes me look like I'm in fifth grade. So let me just take the braiding hair. This is a 52 inch braid. Now I feel like I need to bring my bun up higher than it was before. So here's my hair, here's the hair, and let's twist. I'm not making it so perfect, like whatever, okay? So twist, twist. Let me split my hair. Yeah, okay. I like the top knot better. <laughs> the top knot is better because otherwise I'd look like I was 12. Now, this is not like a, uh, I went to the hair salon top knot, okay? This is very, I'm not gonna wrap the base and do all of this. No, 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 no. I want it to be soft looking anyway. It's a little bit lumpy even, but like, who cares? Ebon Edge Control. I'm gonna take some, and because I'm not making this so, 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 so laid down, just this. Just taking my hand and getting, just getting it up, you know? And I'm gonna take this edge control with me. It works really good on straightened hair. And I already did my edges earlier, when I, before I was doing my makeup. And then some hairspray, just for some extra. And the good thing is I can always take this down and fix it when I get to my destination. And then I have got to be in my suitcase for that reason. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I have to run to the airport. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and watch two more videos on your way out. Bye.